On today's episode, I'll be showing you how to make a smoke tester. A smoke test is a quick and easy way to identify a leak on any car, whether it be a vacuum leak or a boost leak. You could do this on a diesel car, a petrol car, of any setup. Making your own smoke tester can save you hundreds of pounds. If you took it to a garage, they could start off from £60 upwards just to test it, whereas mine cost me less than £15 to make. The easiest way to use this on any car is to take the air filter off, make yourself a bung the right size, with a valve in it that attaches to the smoke machine and pressurise it up. After a little while of pumping the smoke through, hopefully you should see where your leak is by a little puff of smoke leaking out of that area. Now I'll show you how to make it. To make this you're going to need a jar with a lid, three tyre valves or a big pen, a length of hose, some hose clips, some Arrow Dye or JB Weld, a 15mm drill bit, an old soldering iron and an old sock. You'll also need some baby oil and a bike pump. To start off we'll take the lid off the jar and we just want to remove the paint and the paper so that we've got something to adhere to. Once you've cleared the centre section of paint and paper we're going to go ahead and make a mark right in the centre. We are going to need to drill two other holes, so we need to make sure this one's close to the centre. This centre hole is actually for our soldering iron. So, what you want is to make sure the metal bit isn't touching the, the metal lid itself when you glue it down. So there's a nice gap all the way around it. For this next step I'm using two tyre valves. I'm going to be putting it here and here. This is where it will vary if you're using a big pen. So for the tyre valve the hole you want is about 14.5 millimetres where if you're using a big pen it will be smaller. Take a little bit of sandpaper to the underneath of your soldering iron. So the glue has a little bit extra to grip onto and a little bit round the side. Mix up a little bit of your arrow dye. Grab something to prop everything up with. I've just got a sweet tub with the hole cut out at the top. Pop your lid on there. Grab some of your arrow dye. Smear a little bit around the bottom here. Try not to get any on the metal part of the soldering iron. Line up with your previous lines and smear a little extra around the top. Try and stay away from the holes you made for your valves. Now just leave that somewhere where it's not going to fall over to set overnight. For this bit you don't want to use your best socks so I'll put mine back underneath the bed. 
go ahead put your socks in there just nice roughly and then fill it up with baby oil you want about a half inch down the bottom here and it will soak up so we're using the socks as a wick rather than something that will burn the oil itself will burn rather than the sock now that's full we'll leave that overnight to soak up soak into the sock so it's drawn to the top now this has been left overnight it's nice and hard we want to go put our two tyre valves in here so grab a little bit of red grease or some Vaseline and then poke them through If like me you are using tyre valves, on the in we are leaving that alone but on the out we're going to take the core out. On the out valve we're going to put our pipe. And then attach it to the jar. I've plugged the soldering iron in, left it for about five minutes. All we've got to do is put our bicycle pump on the in valve and give it a pump. Nice thick smoke. Going back in time a little bit, I've got my intercooler set up on the bench, hooked up to the smoke tester to see whether anything leaks. I've just blocked off the end of the intercooler with a aerosol lid, tyre valve in there, hooked up to the smoke tester, and the same the other end, just an aerosol lid in this end blocking it off. found a small leak from the dump valve it really is as simple as that just make sure you find a good quality jar with a good seal in the top unlike the one that I found this tool is simple and cheap to make yourself and can be used for a variety of things. You can find vacuum leaks anywhere on the car. You can even test for bent rods. All you need to do is pop the spark plugs out, pressurize the system up, fill it with smoke, and if you have a bent intake valve, one of the spark plug holes should emit smoke. If you want to test for an exhaust valve leak, pop the spark plugs back in and take the exhaust headers off. One of those, if a valve is bent, should give out a little puff of smoke. I would love to show you some better examples of using the tool, but it is the end of April 2020 and we are in lockdown. So I haven't really had the chance to show you on anything else. I'll leave you with a little clip of me hooking this up to a 2015 Kia Pro Seed. The diagnostic said there was a vacuum leak to the boost solenoid, but that wasn't the case. It was actually an electrical fault. If you did make the tool yourself and found it useful, let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.